Hey there, guys. Hulk is a movie directed by Ang Lee, starring Eric Bana and Jennifer Connelly, as well as Nick Nolte, and it is an adaptation of the Hulk character from the comics. Hulk came out in 2003, which uh, was only a couple of years after I was born, so that was... It's kind of cool that, like, in my lifetime, I have been around during the ups and downs of comic book movies. Um, but I didn't see the movie until quite a couple years later when I really started to get into comic book movies, like the Spider-Man movies and some other movies. But um, So I saw Hulk, and I remember really liking it. I remember finding it to be enjoyable. I mean... I thought it was great, honestly. Uh, five or six-year-old Brandon thought that Hulk, the Ang Lee Hulk, was an incredible movie. So how does 15, nearly 16-year-old Brandon feel about Ang Lee's Hulk? I still like it. I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys. I still really like this movie. Is it very good? Not really. There are some things about it that are kind of crap. Um, you don't really see the Hulk that much in the movie. The Hulk dogs were a really dumb idea. Some of the CGI is a bit dated, but at the same time, it actually is pretty impressive. Um, you know, in, I remember seeing it and thinking about how, how awesome it looked and how real the Hulk looked. And in certain parts of the movie, I can still see that. I can still, it still looks pretty realistic, but at other times it does not look all that good. And... That's not really anything I can blame on the director or the CG animators, because it was 2003. They filmed the movie in 2002. They probably started working on animation for it in 2002. So CGI still wasn't really all that uh, great in 2002, 2003. So I don't really... Um, I'm not really going to attribute any of that to... Um, being a negative, really. But, um, I guess let's talk about the actors a little bit. Eric Bana as Bruce Banner in The Hulk was actually pretty good. I legitimately like Eric Bana as Bruce Banner and The Hulk. But maybe in a different movie he would have been better. Um, Jennifer Connelly as, uh, Betty Ross, she wasn't anything great, she wasn't horrible, she's a really good actress, and she was good in the movie, she just didn't really shine in the movie, and then you have Nick Nolte as, uh, David Banner, I, it was David Banner, it was his father, right? Yeah, David Banner, uh, aka... I think, wasn't he the Absorbing Man, basically? Yeah, he was a whole different kind of thing than I was expecting from this movie. Honestly, he feels like he was almost meant to be in a completely different movie because he kind of was a little comic booky and over the top for this movie that was actually kind of felt like it was trying to take itself seriously. And then we have Sam Elliott as uh, General Ross. And honestly, I thought he worked pretty well as Ross. I think both uh, cinematic versions of General Ross have been really good. Neither one really outshining the other, but at the same time, neither of them doing a bad job. Um, so yeah. Some positives. I like the direction and the editing style. There is a lot of, um, 
transitions in this movie that are made to look like comic book panels and i thought that was a really really interesting uh transition and editing style and honestly that's one of the things that i love the most about this movie is just the comic book panel transitions again some of the cgi is really really great in this movie eric banna does a really good job all of the actors mostly do a really good job honestly um, you know, the story is decent. It's nothing incredible, but it's nothing horrible. Uh, the script is decent. No one really gets any over-the-top horrible lines, but I can't really think of any off the top of my mind at, at, at all, really. Um... I'm just trying to think of any other positives, because I always, my mind always goes kind of blank before I do these, so it takes me a minute to think. Yeah, no, I'm, yeah, that's pretty much all the positives I have to say. I think uh, Ang Lee directed this movie really well. I think in the scenes where it was a Hulk movie, it was really good. Now some certain negatives. <laughs> Some of the characters weren't as good. Um, the Hulk dogs was a horrible idea. Um, you know, I... You know, the, the movie is kind of boring, really. I just... I'm drawing blanks here, guys. <laughs> Yeah, um, honestly, I just, I really do still enjoy this movie. It's not the best. I do think The Incredible Hulk is better. And I, yeah, I think had this movie gotten a sequel, that would have been kind of cool. But at the same time, I don't think it was really designed for a sequel because... Ang Lee is a very artsy kind of director. This is a very artsy kind of movie. So you don't really see very many sequels to artsy kind of movies that are good. And I feel like if they did a sequel, it would take what was already an alright movie and make it bad. So, you know... Though, that's really all I have to say about the movie. I really do still enjoy the movie. It has flaws for sure. But at the same time, it has some pretty good stuff. And I don't think the movie gets enough credit for some of the stuff it does well. But at the same time, at the same time I definitely think the movie gets enough discredit for the things it does wrong. Uh, I'm going to give Hulk... A B minus. It's really just an all right movie, and I think the artiness is another negative because this is a comic book movie. You really don't want to get an artsy director that's gonna make it like a, like an Oscar bait artsy movie out of something that's based on cartoon drawings that kids used to read and now a lot of adults devote their lives to <laughs> but yeah so thank you guys for watching this video let me know in the comments what you guys think of hulk because hulk is a very polarizing movie it's uh you know it's a very diverging movie not a lot of people like the movie but then again it's like one of the less divisive movies ever made most people generally just agree it could have been worse it could have been better and then they just kind of leave it at that so um yeah let me know in the comments what you guys think about it and i'll talk to you in the next video bye